the boredom of the gods. Have you ever heard those tales about astronauts in the slow years after they touch back down to Earth? How the world that loomed so large in their childhoods has become so very small. I watched Federer on centre court, where he found the edge of his world in last year's final, his conqueror unreachable this year. From my press box vantage point, among the hush of the scribes, I also feel that distance. His game is locked up tight, a thunderbolt from synapse to wrist, without a cloud to give it away. There is no such thing as a centre court hush. There is always a bustle, a murmur, a swish of pigeon wings across the firmament. To the hapless opponent, they may as well be vultures. The second set falls, and Federer calls for the ball girl to bring his towel. The laws of physics and spatial temporality put up even less of a struggle, as both men settle in chairs and stare deep into a place most of us will never know. The umpire calls out the name of the ultimate victor, time. <laughs>